Hi everyone. Thanks for joining my YouTube channel, Craftastics DIY. Just want to introduce you to my little guy. This is Bailey. He's in Maine Coon. Say hi, Bailey. <laughs> He's a big boy. He's about, I don't know, 15 pounds. Um, He's really cute. Uh, I have a tuxedo as well. I just wanted to share some of my cats with you guys. Come here. Well, anyways, I just want to introduce myself and welcome you guys. If you're new to my channel, um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the uh, bell, red bell, whatever it's going to be doing another giveaway and two stickers this time. So be one, be happy, and a little farmhouse. So what you need to do is, in the comments below, just write down your email address, tell you subscribe to my video, and then pick a number from 1 to 25. Whoever is the closest or actually gets the number will be the winner. And this will end 24th. July 24th, I'll announce the winners. In the comments below, put your email. Let me know you like the video. Subscribe to my channel and pick a number from one to 25, okay? All right, guys, um, let's get on to the video. Okay, Christmas in July. Very strange to do this, but okay, here we go. DIY number one, I took some cardstock that I purchased from Hobby Lobby, some double-sided tape, a pencil, and a tree that I got last year from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna outline it, and then I'm going to cut it out, and then I will tape it to the front of the tree. So now I'm taking some antique wax and I'm going to paint this popsicle stick. So now I'm taking some jingle blocks and I'm going to paint it with the antique wax to use it for the bottom of the tree. So now I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to take the popsicle stick and glue it to the back of the tree. So now I'm going to take the glue and glue the jingle blocks to the bottom of the tree. So because the two jingle blocks was not heavy enough for the bottom base, I had to get another two and paint them and glue them down as well. So now I'm taking this wood star that I found in my stash that I got from Dollar Tree. And now the tree's completed. Okay, so we're on DIY number two. I took this Dollar Tree frame and this um, calendar from the farmer's market from last year print, and I'm going to trace out the backing of the frame, and then I'm going to apply it back into the frame. So that's what it looks like once I had put the calendar inside it. Now I'm going to take some of this Dollar Tree ribbon and I'm going to make two bows and I found some greenery but not Christmas greenery. So all my stuff, my Christmas stuff is all in storage and I just, there's so many boxes of it and I can't start digging through everything right now. So I used what I had. Um, so for the greenery, I just took a part of a greenery plant that I got from uh, Dollar Tree. So now I'm going to hot glue the ribbons or bows on a corner of the frames and on top of each other. So 
I mean, I got these bows last year at Dollar Tree, and for Dollar Tree products, they are really cute. Very pretty. It's very easy to make um, really cute decor from Dollar Tree products. Taking Some of their frames are very cute. Um, you can just add any type of picture in it and just turn it into something very nice for your house. Okay, so we're on DIY number three. So now I'm taking another image from the calendar from last year, the farmer's market. And I'm going to place it into this um, frame that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm just going to take the double-sided tape and just tape it down because I might want to use this in another DIY. So I'm going to use some of this green burlap that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to make a little bow and I'm going to glue it to the corner. I'm also going to use the, what is it called, berries. Um, it looks like it's got wire attached to it. I'm not sure what it's called, but I'm going to twist it around it and tie it to give a little more of a color. It's got a little red in it. So now I'm cutting the corners and just giving it some tails and then um, I'm going to like bend the ends of the tail and make it look like a ripple effect. And here's the finished product. On to DIY number four. I'm using some antique wax, some popsicle sticks, and I cut them down to size, trim the edges, and I'm going to be painting them with the antique wax. I'm going to be adding the antique wax to the water because I don't want it too dark. So I'm taking Dollar Tree stickers, letters, and I'm going to place them on the popsicle sticks and spell out the word Fresh Cut Christmas Trees. Now I'm going to take them and hot glue the stick to the back of them. Now I'm taking some white Waverly paint and I'm going to put a little paint around the edges to make it look like a little bit of snow. DIY number four, taking these two little cars that I got from Dollar Tree, well one's a truck, and I'm taking the black paint, burnt umber, and red paint, and I'm going to paint both of them in these colors.
I'm using the burnt umber uh, color to paint the other car. And now I'm taking the black paint and I'm going to paint the tires on both of them in black. I did add a little bit of white in the circle of the uh, middle of the tire and as well as the other one, but I add a little bit brown around it with a little white in the middle. So I cut these out of some cardstock that I had, little trees, and one says ho ho ho. So I'm taking some Mod Podge. I'm going to put it on the sides of the truck and the car. I didn't realize how tedious painting these little trucks and cars would be, and they are very tedious, <laughs> let me tell you. So I'm taking some foam board, I already cut it out, and some of this uh, cardstock, I'm going to frame it, cut it out, and I'm going to Mod Podge it to the foam board. Now I'm taking this microfiber cloth that I got in the auto section at Dollar Tree. I'm cutting it down to fit the foam board and then I'm going to hot glue it around it to make it look like snow. So what I'm doing here is trying to create an illusion that it looks like little mountains of snow. Not sure if I accomplished it, but I gave it a whirl. Anyhow, we're going to now take the hot glue, glue back the backing of the foam board to it, and attach it, which I needed a few popsicle sticks to hold it and support it. Now I'm taking the sign that I made. I'm going to hot glue it to the backing of the board. It's really cute. It's like a little scenic view. So now I place down the truck and the car and um, hot gluing some little trees that I found in my stash. I could not find my large trees, they're somewhere buried, so I figured, well, the little ones will have to do. But anyways, it's starting to come, come together, it's very cute. And this is the finished result. It's so adorable. I love it. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I had fun making it, so I'm, I'm hoping that you enjoyed watching it. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.